Many places in East Texas are already feeling some of the effects of Hurricane Laura even before the storm has made landfall. Many counties are lined up right in the middle of Laura's path, including the Hemp Hill area and Sabine County. KTRE's Jeremy Thomas joins us live from that area with the latest. Jeremy. Brianna, good evening. I am live in front of the Sabine County Courthouse here in Hempel, as you just mentioned, where as of now, Hurricane Laura's path in the eye looks to come right over this county. Now, things have changed very rapidly within the last hour or so that we've seen with conditions. You can look earlier at what we were actually seeing. I mean, we saw the sun out, but that's definitely not the case right now. Now, earlier I spoke with Jasper County Judge Mark Allen and Angelina County Emergency Management Coordinator Ricky Connor about how they are preparing in the last critical hours before landfall. And that's what I try to stress to people. Once this, uh, the storm's coming, it's not going away. So uh, if you're staying home, hunker down and uh, make the best of it. You know, stay away from windows. Uh, just a lot, of, lot like a tornado, you know, but stay away from windows. Just, you know, go to inner room if you think the wind's getting too strong. Uh, and we could still get that. I mean, that's it's unpredictable at this point. We've all noted and made comments that there does not seem to be very many people that are actually evacuating in the masses that they typically do. Um, we're seeing that in regular general population, but also special needs. That brings a lot of concern because what we're seeing, what will happen is after the storm hits, if it does hit with the intensity of a Category 4 or even if it comes down to a 3 or a 2 in our area, we will see mass uh, power outages. And a lot of people who thought they were all right when the lights were on and the air conditioning was working and the refrigerators were working, well, within about 24 hours, we suddenly realized that they're going to be without power for days, if not weeks. And officials want to reiterate, if you did decide to stay and ride out the storm, to find a safe spot in your home to stay in. Live in Hemphill, Jeremy Thomas, KTRE East Texas News 9. All right, thank you so much, Jeremy.